What's up, guys? How are we? Thank you. Feel older? No. Not yet. That's a good thing in your position, right? I guess so. I mean, days go by. I've had a camp birthday the last eight years, college and NFL, so... All I know is we had meetings this morning. I had a lift. And we got practice at two forty. So that's what's that's what matters on the birthday. No <laughs> when cake. that's the day. No cake. I got some cake yesterday. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Bobby, you saw uh, your team, um, especially the interior guys, really move people in this game. You know, um, get to the second level. How, how good did it feel for the first time out under this offense? How how pleased were you with that? Yeah, it felt really good. Honestly, the way that we've been getting coached, the way that the scheme has kind of, I think, fit our strengths has been a lot of fun to work through and to put on some, to put on tape, we've been doing it in practice, to put on tape against another team in the preseason feels good. Like, like if you, if you guys are seeing it, you know, it's there, you know, cause sometimes like a lot of stuff gets unseen in those scrums, but we're running off the ball. We're trusting our technique. We're trusting each other. We're moving guys horizontally and vertically and putting the back in great positions. I mean, I forget who all was in, but Sean, Sean had that big cut behind. Like, that's what you want. Yeah. Cave everything down, cut it back, make the defense cover 53 and a half yards. And so then when you go to get the ball outside, they have to run, but they have to worry about the cutback. They have so many things to worry about. So I really like the way, really like what we put on tape and the way things are coming along. Can you guys go back and watch the tape? Is there like a reaction in your room when, when Sean has like 26 yard run or whatever? I mean, is there like, yeah. I mean, I know there's work to be done, but at the same time, like, yeah. Like, Certainly, yeah, it's exciting. Like I said, it's um, to see those those runs break. Explosive runs were something we certainly lacked last year. And, you know, those are things that – those are game changers. Those are momentum changers. Those are things you need to get those running yards and make teams defend it. So uh, to see it break out a little bit, like you said, there's a lot to be done and we're going to keep doing it. But it was a lot of fun to see and do. You mentioned the offense, the, the play calling in the offense, kind of catering to the strengths of this group. Uh, what, what would you say those strengths are specifically for the offensive line? Yeah, I think um, for us, like, we're athletic. We're, we can move, and we can get guys moving. Um, we're a heady group. We're smart. We can get ourselves in the right position. And I think, like, it just works out because the coaches have to go with what they know as well. But I think it's been a good marriage so far. This camp, this offseason, this camp, and this preseason one game where you've seen how the scheme that Liam's brought, the coaching we've got with Coach Carberry, how everything's kind of come together, and you can kind of see us moving in the right direction. Yeah, um, it's always a good opportunity to go play another team. As in the practice setting, it's a little bit different. It's almost going to be a little more high energy, high pace than the games. I feel like. I mean, you guys have seen those, how these joint practices go, but it's a great opportunity to put stuff on tape versus really good players and uh, kind of evaluate yourself and how you feel, how you did, what you can work on versus uh, starters from another team. Even though they changed coordinators, you bet you had the same position coaches the whole time you're here till this year. How, how well do you think that line Friday put together what Carver and what Felicia have taught you? Yeah, I think um, the things I've mentioned so far, like that running off the ball, that that movement. Uh, there's so many little things that like that were great, and so many little things we got to clean up just technique wise. But the overall emphasis of hey, we're moving guys, we're running off the ball, we're taking them this way, so our back can read it out, and if he cuts back, great, and if we Circle the defense, keep it going. So those are like some of the bigger things that we've been focusing on. And to, like I said, to see it uh, kind of play out was nice. Before you go into Graham's first NFL game, um, how did he fare like, when you go back and watch what he did? I thought Graham played really well. Graham's a great player, good dude. Um, that's been like, We have a good relationship. And so like seeing any young guy grow, no matter what the situation, like that's what it's about, these relationships we, we have uh, with each other. It's important. And... You remember, everyone remembers what it's like when they came in as a rookie. You got, you got a lot to figure out, and you got a lot, lot to learn, long way to go. But, like, so I was really happy for him, the way he played and the way he gelled with the group, too. Without having, you know, the ability to do a ton of the game in practice and things like that, what is it like when you have that first preseason game and you don't kind of have those calluses, I guess, on your body, like, like what you may, what guys may have had in the past, you know, before, like, this current CBA? Like, what, what is that like for you after that? Or? Well, it's funny, like, you get kind of get in that first preseason game, and the way we, we practice very hard here, and we fly around, we fly off the ball, 
Um, Talking about tempo or just like intensity? A little bit of both. And so like, like we're hitting, we're blocking, we're ta or not tackling, but on the interior and the offensive line, defensive line, linebackers, we're playing football is in the purest sense of the word that we can. And so we get in that game and honestly, like it's a hair slower to be honest, like it takes a second. And so you kind of adjust, but nonetheless, when you get out there, you're adjusting, you're working with playing next to some new guys for the first time. Um, it's your first time back out there in a long time on the game field. And so like getting over those, um, like the feelings you have, like, okay, we're strapping up to play a game right now. This isn't just practice, which is some of the best feelings you can have. I mean, it's a great opportunity and we're very lucky to have that opportunity. So that's the most, I think that's the best explanation I can give you there. And what about, too, like with tempo? Because it seems like you guys keep a really good tempo throughout practice, and how could that help you when it comes time to the game situation? I mean, do you feel it, like, in the preseason, like it is a tick slower than, than your practice pace? And I, I don't know if that helps with mental clarity, too. When you're having to go out here very quickly, you don't have a ton of time to think. Yeah, I think it's good. I think um, one thing I learned from my offensive line coach in college, his name was Harry Heastan, and he always made practice – a lot harder than the games. That was his thing. And on, and so, like, that was what I was used to. And so that is, like, the best way you can prepare for a game is to make practice feel like a game. And then when you get out there, you're just doing the same thing you've been doing. You don't have to turn an extra step on. You don't have to change anything. So that's what we kind of strive to do as players and as teams is simulate that as best as possible so that way you don't have to think when you get out there you've been doing it already. Thanks, guys.